This is example 3.4 on page um, 101 of our textbook. And this is another example of writing a formula for an ionic compound. So here they want us to write the formula for the ionic compound that forms between calcium and oxygen. So once again, we need to figure out the ion versions of calcium and oxygen to help us write our formula. So calcium is an alkaline earth metal, and when it becomes an ion, it always loses two electrons to become Ca2+. And oxygen, hopefully you remember from our previous example, when it gains electrons to become an ion, it always gains two to become O2-. Now, step three is where we either do the crisscross rule or figure out how many of each um, atom are needed to balance so that our charge comes to neutral. So if you do the crisscross method, Ca2 plus O2 minus, drag down that superscript to become a subscript on the opposite element, and we get Ca2 O2. Or, if you just look, calcium is 2 plus, oxygen is 2 minus, so we really only need one of each to cancel out each other's charges to become neutral. So, CaO. But, if you look at your crisscross rule, Ca2O2, that's different than CaO. So how do we rectify this? So step four is when, if we need to, we reduce subscripts so that they're the smallest whole number ratio. So Ca2O2, since both of those are two, we divide them by two so that they become CaO. And now these two are equal to one another. Step five, of course, is to check to make sure the charges cancel with one another. So if we have one calcium, that's going to be plus two, and we have one oxygen, which is going to be minus two, plus two minus two added together equals zero, meaning our compound is neutral and our formula checks out. So, our final written formula for this is CAO.